What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video of Land of the Vikings. This one's a little bit different to the others. This is a guide. So if you're new to the game, this is going to be great for you to look at. Um, it's going to help you get through your first winter, which can be quite hard um, to make sure you've got enough resources just to get through it. So I hope you like it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Right, let's get stuck in. Hi guys, welcome back. This is my guide to the perfect start in Land of the Vikings. So let's go. So you press new game. You come to where you can start um, doing your village name. You can literally have whatever you want. You can type whatever you want, but you just randomly generate. You can add, uh, edit the banner, so you can choose different colours and different symbols. Which we'll go with the dot? Oh no, let's go with that one. I'm gonna. You can have a tutorial, which will show you the basics of the game um, when you should start doing stuff. But I'm gonna turn it off for now, and yeah, I'm gonna start game. I'm going to start on the small map, um, as most people do when they first start the game. And it's small, the resources are good, so generally you do pick that to start with. So, right, so we'll start and we'll pause. Start with. So, this is your basic village. You got a carpenter, you get three houses, and then you get the long house. In the long house, you can choose your priority of cutting trees or stone, depends on what you're short short of you can up it and then you know you can up the trees if you need to if you haven't got enough trees but i tend to keep it in the middle just to start with right first things first i'd like to go into the tree of life and get the, the villagers working faster and i also get them to be happier you can straight away if you want to um, explore fields as a great way of uh, sourcing bread and start making beer but we'll explore it anyway but I doubt we'll use any of that in a minute right so then now we want to let's see where the trees are it's got a lot of trees over here so what we'll do is we'll um, create a path across as the villagers will walk faster um, and also like work harder while you've got a path so start that and then also before it gets too dark you want to start up a couple of grand torches as they do not like working in the dark or being around in the dark and what will be handy to have is signs later on so you, the um, the workers don't get lost. In the tutorial it will say set up 10 uh, decorations but it's not necessary. Um, let's get a production of food in straight away. Gather a shack. It's very important to get going straight away. Any food otherwise um, winter will come around really uh, quick and you'll have no food and people will start starving. So what we'll do is we'll keep around here as housing. So then we'll put the gatherer shack over here somewhere. You press hold Z and spin your mouse to face which way you want it. We'll have it over here. We'll put that there. Also, so this red mark means that no one is working. So when you start, you want to click a worker and you'll see at the top here. The talents that are recommended when using this so it's power so you press start and you've got these little tabs here you want to click the fist same as that and then it will show you who is the strongest and how far away they live from the carpenter shack so you just click that and then make sure you press open otherwise literally nothing will happen um, and then next I'll get the hunter shack going and again, you'll see the percentage of production, which is very, very important. So we want to get as 100, and then we'll line it up there. And then I would also start a marketplace. We'll put it just off here. Right, so now they're the buildings I want done. 
straight away. Um, and then while you also, this bottom left icon here, you cut trees. So you just hold the right uh, left button on the mouse and literally just drag it over a bunch of trees and then it will start doing and then right click and then you click on the axe and you start doing stone as well. Right, lovely. So now that's started, let's press play. These bottom icons at the bottom, you've got a section called management. You want to go to jobs and then you'll see how many builders you got. So I recommend about three quarters. We'll go 11 labourers just to get resources because we literally have none at all. And then we'll have six builders because obviously we've got a lot of buildings to be built. Um, and then I would start building my house because um, the population does rise quite quick. Is that going to squeeze in? Just gonna have that, yeah. I'll go there. Um, so yeah, get get the resources coming in. Keep cutting down trees until we get going, and, and eventually you will want a woodshed as well because otherwise your uh, people in your village will um, freeze to death, and we don't want that, do we? That's not a great selling point for a village. So. While these are building, you can click on them and then click priority. So we want to get um, the hunting shack and gathering shack up straight away. Because we need to start producing food. As you can see at the top here, we have no meals at all. That's not good. So we'll prioritise those. Get out. So let's speed this up a bit. Um, shall we? Yeah, I think so. Food is so essential, but when you're doing farms, um, you can't do anything like that in the winter. So, if you're going to do a farm, I'd do it as soon as you can. Otherwise, you'll run out of time to do it. And you really want wheat. So we'll plant some wheat in there, and we'll just have one farmer for now. So now we've sped it up. We're getting a lot of trees chopped down now. So that's good. It's a good start. And when the population starts, we get a herbalist hub. Um, that stops people from getting sick, and if they do get sick, it'll um, help everyone out. So we really want that. Um, let's get a warehouse down for storage. Right, that is done now. So on this one, we want speed and luck. So if we click speed, and that person's fast and lucky. We'll do the same again. They're a little bit further away, but it'll be worth having. If you can, you want to start collecting as many herbs as possible because that is what the herb list will use um, for, you know, looking after your people. As I said before, paths do um, help out with speed. So, if you can walk this over to the shack like that and then they can go and jump straight on there. So, then let's add some more decorations. Decorations do cost money, so use them sparingly. But it is essential to get um, everything going fast. So we'll just path out to there. So now would be also a good time to set up a well. You want this in the middle, so um, it stops any fires and your fields need it as well. So that's going to cover the houses as ooh, start bringing the houses down this way. So let's drag this path down to here. As we are, um, uh, so here we need power and luck. 
So here we go. I would recommend getting two people in here straight away. As you can see, we've now got seven mills, which is good. Uh, also, just keep on top of the wood because you can rinse for it really quick, especially at the beginning. It's really, really important to keep the wood flowing. So wherever you can, round the path, just keep the wood going. And the same with the stone, you will get through it. So we've got the well up. So now we want to look at sorting out a mill because the mill will work throughout winter so we'll stick that here then what we can do is we can bring the path down here we'll probably run out of coin and then what we'll do we want to sort out some storage and we want some Put that close to the windmill so they'll literally harvest here go straight into the store and then when you've got the windmill sorted some someone will take from the storage and start making bread like i say you want to harvest as much as you can before winter to fill up the storage and then they'll just keep taking it throughout the winter Now we want to start chickens. Chickens are very good. Um, where do we want to stick these? We'll stick the farm um, other bits over here. So let's turn that around. Let's get a chicken coop going. You get a quick turnover with chickens. We've got one point to use faster let's get that mining we can sort that out when you click mining it'll show you like an area this looks like coal to me so that's probably where the uh, coal mining will start but we've got a lot of um, stone to be done here so that's good just got to keep up on top of the wood just keep clicking all the right around. This button, you can see what families you have. So we've got four families and we've got four houses. So that's good. So if you can and you've got the resources, just keep going with the houses. With the houses, if you hold down, I think it's shift, you won't have to keep going back to the menu. There is no desirability in this game. Um, so you can, you can hold, you can press X and it will align with the building next to it. But sometimes it goes back to front. So we've got another six houses being built. See now we, the food is up, it's already at 41, which is perfect. Once this is built, um, we'll have uh, white meat coming in. Chickens do not produce the eggs, you just take the white meat. So we've got 15 meat in there, that's perfect. We could do with this being priority, so we can start storing. And then this priority, marketplace priority as well, because the marketplace will distribute food to um, the people around here, which will... Um, give you silver. Money is quite important at the beginning, um, so as soon as you can get your marketplace built up, the, the better. Firewood. So you want to get this ready for winter. Um, sort out what limits you want um, in the woodshed. What we'll do now is we'll stick it at 100, the limit, so then they'll just keep going with that. Keep on top of the close wood anytime the wood spawns close. As long as you do not build on top of where trees were growing before, they will grow back. Um, so yeah, don't worry too much that they're not going to grow back because they will automatically. Right, the storage is now up. So in this one we want speed. There we go. 
So then now this is built, they'll start emptying the uh, the resources from there. And oh, same from there. So we can build. Build a path across to that. Now might be a good time to build your herbalist. Just to keep people from being sick. So we'll stick that next to these houses. Right, the marketplace is built. So again, this needs speed. So we'll pick speed. They're close by. Perfect. So this is close to ready being harvested. You can harvest it early, but try and keep it to what that is there. So then by the time that's ready to harvest, it'll start filling up here. You want to get another one in as soon as you can, ready for autumn. And then, you know, the bread will keep producing. Don't know why these people are hungry. They shouldn't be hungry now. Now this is set up. Um, people shouldn't be hungry. I don't know why they are hungry, but I suppose this wasn't set up to be distributed. Right. Let's see how we're doing for jobs. So we've got more builders. So we've reduced the amount of builders now as we're building less. Now chicken coop is done. So now this one we want luck. Uh, same amount of luck, but they're closer by, so we'll pick those. I do like to, if you've got the spare money, bring the paths out from the houses. Um, the further you go along on the um, the Tree of Life, there'll be uh, an upgrade where it says villagers are happy when they've got a road to their house. So, as it costs a couple of coin, I'll just send that in. Right, so now, yeah, the marketplace is now filling up with the food, and now they will distribute it to all the houses. So now this is ready to be harvested. We'll harvest it now. Have we got any work? We've got one worker, that'd be fine. Uh, yeah. oh, what do we need on there? Stone. Right, okay. Let's keep cutting down these trees. Breeze will be an essential throughout the whole of the game. No matter how far you get into it, they'll be essential. So just keep on top of that, if you can. You can eventually um, get a stone pit. Because um, these do not regenerate. So just be mindful what you use. Because eventually you'll need a stone pit. Uh, let's start again. Yeah, that's not going to work because. Right, let's spin that round. Got to be careful because I'm pretty sure this is where coal is mined. Pretty sure. We could put it down here, swing that across. But we've got a decent amount of food, so I'm not too concerned, but it's just nice to get. Everything mapped out as soon as you can. So just be mindful when you set this out. You can make the, the pen bigger. These little trees, if you just go over, they do disappear. Because it does say it collides with stuff. But So let's sort out. Let's get some goats in. Start getting very bumpy ground. See what I mean there? So we can make that as big as we can there. That's lovely. Lovely. So yeah, we can up another builder because we've got a lot of buildings now. It's good to get these because you will get a lot of people um, emigrating into your uh, into your village. So always keep on top of the houses, but just be mindful that you know you can build too many houses and get too many people in if you're not producing enough food. So let's sort out get in there's no point in getting that yet because before you set up doing fishing you'll need to put a shipyard down um to build your ships so if you can if or if you need to set up another gathering shack or another hunter shack i would probably go hunter shack forty percent hundred percent 
There is one there, but we'll get another one. Gatherer shacks do not work during the winter. So, especially if you're near the back end, I won't worry too much. So let's plant another rotation of that. Let's prioritise the windmill now. Because now, see, we've got 180 units of wheat in the granary. So we want to start getting the... Uh, start getting the windmill up to start producing bread before this gets too full otherwise we'll have to build another one should have enough houses there for now plenty of fire oh, fire up that let's keep cutting wood We've got a little bit in store, but we've got no planks. It is open. It's just not being touched. So let's just keep going around here. Take these trees. Perfect. Lovely. Is that being worked on? So what do we need? Five more stone and 20 more planks. Lovely. Now, I don't know where the stone pit spawns on this map. But we've got some gold, so we'll just up this path up here. For now. Just as they move around quicker. What we got here? Durability sure, increase. How much is this? Three. Three tokens to start that. So we'll just carry on what we're doing. Yeah, got the woodshed, carpenter. Lovely. I don't know if the cattle will work there because the ground is bumpy. It's quite fussy. But we could stick the cattle shed over here. Bumpy ground. There we go. You'll see here we've got 20 chickens. And straight away I'll slaughter 15. Right away, let's just get them done. Now, yeah, the workers are cracking on there with this now, which is great. And we'll start just getting through that. Once that's done, we'll put a little path in. And yeah, this is a great setup. So now we've got 133 food straight away. The windmill's done. This one needs power. So click power. 1.7, perfect. Let's see if we've got enough money. There we go. Lovely. There we go. And then when we get enough money again, we'll come across here. Actually, we can start doing a little bit. Because it'll make the work faster on the stone. Lovely. There we go. So now you'll see they're slaughtering the chickens. And this will tell you how many will be slaughtered, how many is left to be slaughtered. And what resources you gain from it. So just keep an eye on your limit inside the warehouse. If you do get full, as you built it too far away from that. So what you can do is, just to upgrade any um, storage, you can see around these round box. If I now stick these so it goes over both of them, it will increase the storage by five each one. So now this will be able to hold a little bit more. And you can do the same around your marketplace. You can literally stick around the side here and it will store even more, which is perfect. Especially early game where you don't want to keep building more and more of these when you want to start getting your resources up. Right, so that's done. Let's get chopping these trees down. If you do find yourself struggling with 
they ju that your laborers are just getting wood, you can come in here and just prioritize stone. So then they'll start just going around smashing the stone out. So how are we getting on here? Yeah, so now the grain is being processed into the windmill. As you can see, was at 180, now we're at 150. And, you know, this is growing now, the next next crop. So what we might do now, storage. It just set another one of these up. We can always extend the housing back this way. So we've got some people without any houses. Uh, we've got nothing on priority, so let's just prioritise building the rest of these houses. As you really don't want people to have no houses. Let's go with a different style house. You have three different styles. Two cost exactly the same, and then the other one costs a little bit more, but it's fine. There we go. Stick one down here. Just so we've got a nice line. But yeah. Prioritise stone. We're getting through it here. Just highlight any stone that you can see that needs to be used. Got quite a bit up here, so you can extend all the way up here. You know, there's no limit to where you can build. You can literally build all the way around here, all the way around there. It's great. So yeah, yeah all this means is they're homeless. Now see this saying it's full. So this is where you can get the car. I like the barrel ones. And you just stick them around here like this. And now, you know, we've gone up to 160. Should go up to 165. There we go. So then this icon should disappear. That is ready to be harvested. Let's harvest that now because hopefully we put another worker there. Um... We might be able to get one more in. So now bread's being stored. And then bread is brought straight to here. So now we've got... We've got more tokens to use. So let's go up to... Mining. What have we got there? Shipyard. You will need a shipyard before you start any fishing. So this is the, ah, see, this is the dark rock that I was on about. So if we go to production, mine, and then you see the green line. That is anywhere. And you'll see this green arrow up here. This is indicating where the iron is. So the iron will be up here. So what you'll need to do eventually is set up a path all the way up here to then start collecting iron. So what we'll do is we'll temporarily put that down there. It's 20 silver, so it is quite expensive. Just got to keep on top so now there's no one working in here because the person died so you just got to micromanage each building just to make sure um that you know production is still keep going as you don't want that to do so yeah this is my guide to the perfect start um i really hope you enjoyed the video um if you did smash that like button it'd be really appreciated um, and yeah, tell me what you do differently to what I do, because, um, you know, we can help each other out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.